The Gingerbread Man A long time ago, a little old woman and a little old man lived in a pretty cottage next to the forest. The cottage was a happy place in which to live. The birds sang sweetly all day long. The big trees waved and whispered in the breeze. Many forest animals frolicked in the yard around the cottage. The little old woman and the little old man were happy too. The little old man was a good carpenter. He built many things for the cottage. The little old woman was a good cook. She baked rolls, cakes, and cookies for her husband. One day, the little old woman said, My husband likes my gingerbread cookies best of all. I will make him a surprise. I will make him a gingerbread man. The little old woman went into her kitchen and made a big bowl of gingerbread dough. She rolled it and patted it into a gingerbread man shape. She used two raisins for eyes, a candy for a mouth, some coconut for hair, and red sugar sprinkles for a jacket. My, what a handsome man you are, she exclaimed. My husband will surely be surprised. The little old woman put the gingerbread man into the oven to bake. When he was almost ready to eat, she called to her husband. Come and see the surprise. I have baked for you. But when she opened the oven door to show the surprise, out popped the gingerbread man. Off he ran, shouting, I can run away from you. I can, I can. Stop, stop, shouted the little old woman and the little old man. But the gingerbread man ran out of the cottage door. Behind him ran the little old woman and the little old man. But they could not catch him. The gingerbread man ran past two farmers who were working in the field. He called out, I ran away from the little old woman and the little old man, and I can run away from you. I can, I can. The two farmers put down their tools and began to chase the gingerbread man, but they could not run fast enough to catch him. Soon the gingerbread man passed a spotted pony eating apples under an apple tree. I ran away from a little old woman, a little old man, and two farmers in a field. And I can run away from you. I can, I can, shouted the gingerbread man. The spotted pony dropped the apple he was eating and galloped after the gingerbread man. But his gallop was not fast enough to catch him. The gingerbread man ran on. He saw a cow watching from behind a fence as he ran by. I have run away from a little old woman, a little old man, two farmers in a field, a spotted pony eating an apple, and I can run away from you. I can, I can, he called. The cow ran through the gateway, but she didn't run fast enough. The gingerbread man was far ahead of her. The gingerbread man saw a big burly bear. I have run away from the little old woman. The little old man, two farmers in a field, a spotted pony eating an apple, and a cow watching over a fence. And I can run away from you. I can, I can, he boasted. The big burly bear bounded after the gingerbread man, but he couldn't catch him either. The gingerbread man ran until he came to a wide, deep stream. Oh, what shall I do, said the gingerbread man. I have run all this way to get away from the little old woman, the little old man, two farmers in a field, a spotted pony eating an apple, a cow watching over a fence, and a big burly bear. Now what shall I do? Just then, a sly hungry fox crawled from beneath some bushes. Perhaps I can help you, said the fox. I could give you a ride across the stream on my back. The gingerbread man climbed on the fox's back just as the little old woman, the little old man, the two farmers, the spotted pony, the cow, and the big burly bear arrived at the edge of the stream. 
He rode to the middle of the stream where the water tickled his toes. Come and stand on my head between my ears, said the sly hungry fox. The gingerbread man obeyed. When the fox reached the other side of the stream, he said, I will lower my head, and you can slide down my nose to the ground. Thank you, said the gingerbread man. Down, down he slid. Snap, gulp, went the fox as he swallowed the gingerbread man. The little old man looked very sadly at his little old wife, the two farmers, the spotted pony, the cow, and the big burly bear. Gingerbread is my favorite kind of cookie, he said. Now I won't have a gingerbread man to share with all of my friends. Don't be sad, said the little old woman. I will make a gingerbread man for each of you. And that is exactly what she did.